Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about when your car overshoots its charge limit that you set, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So maybe this has or hasn't happened to you, but let's say you set your charging limit to 90%, and then the next day when you unplug, you notice that the MCU is at 92%. So how does this happen, and why is it happening? Well, let's go through it, and I'll explain what's going on. The battery calibration is an algorithm, so basically it's kind of guessing what 90% is, and it's based on a bunch of different variables, including like if you have preconditioning on, what the temp of the actual battery is while it's charging, and the ambient temperature, and so on. So with that many variables in play that are constantly changing, sometimes it's hard for the BMS, the battery management system, to get that all right and get, you know, exactly 90% charge or whatever you set it at. Also, I kind of think as your charge limit setting as kind of a point in time type of snapshot, so keep that in mind and just think of it as the BMS is taking a snapshot at 90% when the car gets there. And once the BMS sees that the charging is at 90% and stops because it's hit that limit, then everything else kind of isn't in the control of the BMS. If the ambient temperature rises, technically it makes the battery more capable or able to rise by itself. You may notice this from time to time, say if you go shopping or something, you park your car and then you come back an hour or so later and you notice that the mileage has actually risen. This is basically the BMS recalculating with new conditions, giving the battery more mileage. But at that point, there's nothing the BMS can do because it's already past the 90% charging limit that you've set. But don't worry, if this happens, it's not going to hurt the battery, so you don't need to be all up in arms about it. But this really only works one way, so if we go the opposite direction and, it, and you're in cold weather, basically we know that the batteries do not like cold weather, and so it'll use energy, the car will use energy to heat the batteries up to keep them at operating temperature. If that happens, then the BMS will kick in and it'll keep charging. Once you're using that energy, it'll keep charging the battery back up to 90% to keep the batteries warm and keep your car at the set charging limit that you've set. A plugged in Tesla is a happy Tesla, Elon once said. A cold weather situation is where that quote would come into play. But if overcharging does worry you, all you need to do is set your charge limit to a little bit lower to compensate. So maybe like 85%. Or maybe you just don't want to go there at all, and you want to be really, really sure. If that's the case, then just set your charging limit to 80%. We know the BMS isn't 100% accurate, especially if you're using miles. I mean, frankly, it is pretty hard to get an accurate calculation when all these variables are changing all the time. Have you had this happen to you? If so, how did you react? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.